the official ribbon cutting for the solar benches that will keep you relaxed and connected, all while also helping the environment, took place at William H. Kurdick and Family Park. Instead of having someone that's attached to a wall or indoors, you can come out to a park now. You can be here, you can be in nature, you can be sitting, you can be watching your kids playing. And you don't have to worry about getting anything charged, and you're doing it in a sustainable way. So I think it's a winner all the way around. The city of Coral Gables is the first city in South Florida to embrace sustainable solar power charging benches, keeping our residents and visitors connected. 11 solar power charging benches have been added to several parks throughout the city. Residents can come here after a natural disaster, maybe they don't have power at their house, they can come and charge their electronic devices, stay connected. So it's a really good opportunity to keep our residents uh, connected and, and promoting sustainability. Residents and visitors can now charge electronic devices year-round, including times following natural disasters where power can be potentially lost. Oh, I'm so proud of myself, but also just the team that worked with me. It was really a community, it was a group effort with the City of Coral Gables Commission and the Green Sustainability Board. And I'm just so proud that we were able to make this project a reality. Remember that you must bring your own charging cord to connect to the benches. For more information, visit www.coralgables.com.